Welcome to the third installment of my Tamu Trilogy. What's up guys, welcome back to Monster Review where we take a look at tech, tech tips and how to videos. If you haven't checked out my previous two videos on Tamu, I highly recommend looking at them. Uh, you don't have to to watch this video. All my Tamu videos are completely independent of one another, but the products that I cover in the previous two videos are not the same product that I will be going over today. You can find the link to those videos in the description below. Now, before we get to my latest Tamu order, let's go over some comments from the previous two videos. So first comment, Ming Ma says, okay, after seeing this guy's review, I do not, do not recommend anybody taking his opinion on anything he review. Good luck, everyone, LOL. Okay. Elena Celeste, are you reviewing items you haven't received yet? No, I'm not. Cindy Nash, what concerns me the most is credit card info being hacked through Tamu. Any suggestions on how to protect your card? Yes, I do. Do what I do and use the privacy app. It's kind of like PayPal. You download the app, you link it to your bank account, and basically when you want to use a credit card on a uh, shady website or a site you're not familiar with, you can take out a burner card and you can set the limit for that burner card. So if your order is gonna be like $50, you can go into the app and set a burner card for $50. And what will happen is that the retailer will charge the card and if they try to charge it again or anyone gets the information of this credit card and tries to charge it, it will be blocked and it will not work because the card will no longer be active. And also another great thing is that you will get notified within the privacy app if someone tries to charge a card again. M's Lady 77 where did you buy the Will Norm speakers? I purchased it on Amazon a couple years ago, like three or four years ago. Unfortunately, Amazon no longer sells the Will Norm speaker. I don't even know if Will Norm is still in the business of making cheap, affordable speakers. I am on the lookout for the next best $10 speaker, so keep it locked here. Steve Cutler. Damn, that opening music was way too loud. Is this how you start all of your videos? Yes, it is. I have gotten multiple complaints that the music is loud. I'm gonna start turning it down um, in future videos. Lexi Lu, my question is totally off topic, but how do you make a burner card to place orders? I'm always afraid to order online, so I usually go and buy these Visa cards at Walgreens. I figure this way, if they can only steal the little that's on the prepaid card and not wipe out my bank account or run up my real credit cards. So you have me intrigued right off the bat. Great video, by the way. Thank you, Lexi. But yeah, as I stated before, the privacy app. Check it out. Ultra Leonardo 78. What can I do if my product came damaged? How can I tell to move that? It's really simple. You just go into your order history, find the product, and then you can file a claim with Tamu. They only ask that you take a picture of the product and upload it to your claim. Yeah, it's really simple to do, and that's all you have to do. Upload the picture, and then the claim will be processed by Tamu. Michelle F. Does Tamu sell snacks, cookies, chips, chocolate? <laughs> I'm just asking, LOL. I don't think they do, but even if they do, I would not recommend it. Just stick to your local grocery store. Sean Rosler, do you always use a special card and security steps when buying or was that just a two move precaution? No, I always do it with all of my online retailers, except for Amazon and eBay. But if it's a site that I've never purchased before or that I don't purchase regularly on, I'll use the burner cards. Busted Flush. Where is Tamu located? Tamu's headquarter for the US is located in Boston. Sharon Montag, did you read the dimension alongside of the item? I did not Sharon, but um, I will be doing that going forward. Tammy Leonard, did you order again? I sure did Tammy and this is not the end. I will be ordering a lot more stuff from Tamu. Alex the Gamer, you know that the console is illegal, right? Yes, Alex, I do. Thanks for telling us. Okay, so here's the product. Um, my order was split into two shipments, so I got a smaller bag and I got this big bag. All the stuff that I'm going to show you today, I spent $187 on all of these items, so relatively cheap. Um, and you'll see why I say it's relatively cheap because I got a lot of stuff in here. I ordered all this stuff on uh, April 19th, this smaller package, which has three of the items that I ordered 
was delivered on April 27th. And this big package was just delivered today. It was promised on May 2nd and um, it wasn't delivered yesterday. And so Tamu gave me a $5 credit automatically, nothing I had to do. They just automatically gave it to me. So it's sitting in my, uh, my credit balance. I'm just digging uh, Tamu's customer service. Okay, so the first package we're gonna go through is the smaller package that was delivered first. So first thing we're pulling out here is a bubble gun. There we go. It runs on AA batteries. Uh, the cap that goes on the, that's it. Oh no, this is not a cap. This is actually where you put the bubbles and dip the bubbles. So originally I just took two batteries and put it in, but apparently this is a four battery bubble gun. I've never had a bubble gun take four batteries and I've purchased multiple bubble guns for my kids. I'm really, really curious to see how this performs. I like the trigger, feels good in the hand, even though I have adult hands, feels good. Whoa, whoa. Sorry, not gonna shine the light. All right, so the next thing we have is, what is this? I think this is a knife. $3.14 for this knife. See, we got string. Okay, maybe a lanyard. All right, here's the knife. Here we go. So what's cool about this is that it's really, really small, and it's uh, a keychain essentially, but it's really thin, right? And it has like the transformer. Was that the Autobot logo engraved on it? You just push these two right here and then the knife pops out like that is there liquid on it i think it's oil yeah there's probably some kind of oil on it to keep it sharp and i think the string is just to put it over your uh your neck if you want to do that but i'm not going to put this over my neck it's kind of weird but i will use this string just to see how sharp this knife is oh wow let's cut this box And this is perfect for emergencies, you know, to have on your keychain just in case, uh, you know, you run into a situation where you need a knife, you have one on your keychain. It's very small, doesn't take up a big footprint. Really cool, like it. All right, what else we got? Ooh, we have a precision electric screwdriver. This is definitely a product I'm excited about. I seen a couple of these screwdrivers on Amazon for about 50 bucks. So $16 is a, it's a really good price. Okay, so that's everything you get in the box. You have a charging cable, USB type C, always nice to have. You have a, what do you call this? Magnetizer. So you can magnetize and demagnetize your bits. They give you some starter bits here. And then you have the screwdriver. Ooh, ooh, metal. This is not plastic, this is metal. Aluminum, metal? I think it's aluminum. Really, really good build quality. What? <laughs> it, has a, it has a light on it. That is cool. And then if I need light, Okay, so there's reverse and there's forward. That is cool. I'm really happy I picked this up. All right, to charge it, you just put the cable underneath, like so, and you put it to charge. Yep, that's it for the small bag. All right, now we're moving on to the bigger bag. Too. All right, so first thing we got, we got this Tamagotchi. It's not an official Tamagotchi, so um, wouldn't get too excited. Ooh, definitely doesn't feel like an official Tamagotchi. All right, let's pull the tab. I had a Nano Pet. I didn't have a Tamagotchi growing up. It looks similar to what I had. There's my little bunny. See these two buttons here. This lets you choose what you want. All right, what's next? 
we have the multifunction cleaning kits. All right, now we talking, now we talking. Sealed. So I wanted something to um, help clean my camera and my lens. And so I stumbled upon this, thought it was really cool. So you have like a soft velvet feel. You take the velvet side and you have your screen and you can use it to clean your screen like this. Does a really good job. So just like that, that's a clean your screen. Then you have these sliders right here. So we have kind of like a pick up here to get into like, let's say um, your charger port. So you can use this to like clean out your speaker grills. And then you also have a brush here. You could use that to brush it out. And then on the other side, you have this. Not entirely sure what that's for, but yeah, it's like a Q-tip basically. And now, what's this? Oh, yes. And then so this bottom right here, this is where you put your cleaning solution. And then this works as a spray bottle to clean your screen. Cool, I like it. What's next? We have a Bluetooth tracker. Works with Android and iPhone. All right, here it is. We've got some instructions. It's a tracker itself. You have a little pull tab to activate it. Ooh, there we go. iSearching, that's the name of the app. So let's go ahead and download iSearching. Okay, so now it's connected. So I can click alarm and then this thing will start beeping. I can change the ringtone to whatever I want. Just like the tiles, you can double click and it'll ring your phone. But in terms of location, I mean, it's just showing my location. It's not actually showing the location of these tags. I mean, there's not much you can do with the tag itself other than make it ring. I don't see the tags showing up on the map at all. The only thing this is really good for is if you lost your keys, make it ring with the app, or if you lost your phone, make your phone ring with this. So what else is next? All right, so this is it's a beard catcher, or hair catcher, it's a hair catcher. You put it around your neck like this, and then there's two suction cups in here and they hook on to the straps right here. They suction into your mirror and so they hold out this like this. And so whatever you cut, whatever hair you cut on your beard falls directly into this. And I thought this was really neat. My routine now is really straightforward. I just take a towel and I put it over my bathroom sink and I trim my beard and whatever falls in the towel, I'll brush the towel off outside. But this will make my job a lot easier because the towel, it does tend to trap some of the hair. And so this is like a really smooth material and all my hair should just be able to fall right off. All right, what's next? Ooh, all right, so I'm excited to try out this. So what this is, is it goes inside of your car. You clip it onto your handlebars inside the vehicle, and this acts as like a overhead storage compartment for inside of your vehicle. The interior height of each vehicle is different, um, so this may or may not work for you. For us, we have a 2020 Ford Explorer. So we're going to install that into the Ford Explorer and see how well it holds up and how well it uh, does what we want it to do, which is to provide an extra place for storage. We can get a lot of the junk off the floor and store it into this overhead compartment. Bam! We have a fake solar cockroach. <laughs> oh man. It actually looks fake, but at the same time, it's like, ooh, there it is. It's the size of a cockroach, just a little bit higher. How do we turn it on or does it automatically? I don't know. So nothing's happening. Okay, so we figured out what the problem with this 
little solar roach was. It needs direct sunlight in order to function. If it doesn't get direct sunlight, it will not work. Um, an artificial lighting source will not power it. So this is no good indoors. Again, it needs direct sunlight. However, it's a fun little toy for $3.78. All right, what else we got in this cutie bag? All right, we got a nice big package here. So this is going to pair nicely with my power precision screwdriver. Oh, wow, yes. This is huge. Look at this. This is awesome. You got some compartments over here. We have some trays. This is your work area. This is awesome. I like this. Great price for a well-made product. This is this is really cool. I like this. What else we got? We have some toothbrush here. These are replacement heads for your Oral-B toothbrush. 16 pack for $4.88. So it's a hell of a lot cheaper than the Oral-B toothbrush. You get like a four pack for like $15. So this is a significant saving. Let's open up one and see. These Oral-B toothbrush here, these replacement heads, honestly, it's, I think it's perfect. I think it's great. I honestly can't see anything wrong with it feels very similar to the Oral-B toothbrush heads. I honestly think the Oral-B branded toothbrush heads like way overly priced. I don't think you get your money's worth, but for 488 for a 16 pack, this is a great deal. And this is definitely where I'm going to be shopping to get my replacement Oral-B heads. All right, what else we got? We got a bracelet, let's see. Up here. Okay. So, oh, so it's, it's magnetic, but you like that, and then the clasp like that. That's how you clasp it. Huh? There we go. And I'm going to wear it throughout the video. All right. What else we got? We got a mini doorbell. Let's see what you get in here. Okay. So you got some instructions here. Instruction pamphlet. We have a mounting sticky pad. Uh, ooh, we have the, I guess this is the speaker that you plug inside the house. It's powered by USB. Um, and then you have the doorbell here. Except for the packaging, let's see what this looks like. Ooh. Definitely very light plastic build has battery already in it. And then right there, it's a USB-C. So that's what you use to charge it. There's a back plate reset button is right over here. So just like the Ness and the uh, ring doorbells, you have this back plate that you're going to mount first and then the doorbell slides over it like so with a screw and that will prevent people from stealing it if you get this for eleven dollars i don't think you have to worry about people stealing it and so this is what the video quality looks like on the phone as you can see it's uh kind of similar to like the uh the drone video that uh, i reviewed in my second to move video um it's still pretty good it's usable i mean it's not it's not something you will want to use to deter theft or you know people walking onto your property but it is better than a standard doorbell and again this thing was uh almost ten dollars it was eleven dollars so close to ten dollars is all you're paying for this thing um but it, it does work pretty good that's under my desk the uh, little rat nest i have going on not bad for a eleven dollar camera and so if my phone's asleep and someone rings the doorbell Jump right into it and I can see what's going on. Hello? Hello? So all you basically need is a little adapter for the uh, chime module. And then right here is a peer button. You hold down that peer button and then you push the ring button on the doorbell and then they automatically peer. 
these two right here, you can control the volume of the chime module. I myself, I'm not a fan of uh, these cheap camera modules just because uh, you don't know how secure it is and you don't know who is looking in on your camera feed. I wouldn't put this anywhere where you know you don't want prying eyes to see uh, something like maybe a uh, maybe a gate or a fence or something like that. I think this would be pretty cool to have on there. I don't know if it's weather sealed, if it's weatherproof, so not sure how long it would last in the outdoor elements. I don't think you would want to put this indoor inside your house just because, again, you don't know who can be watching in on your camera feed. What else we got? Let's see. We have here a mini disinfectant sprayer. Sweet. Okay, let's see here. We got the charge cable. It is USB type C. And then we have the product along with instructions. Ooh, very nice. This is super portable and i believe it's electrostatic is it electrostatic i don't well i don't think it's electric static at 1298 not bad at all so this is where you put your solution feels really good like this will be perfect to keep inside your car during a long travel so uh you could disinfect anything in your car disinfect you know parts of your car inside of your car pretty cool and there's a usb c charge port all right what else we got some kind of gift box don't remember what this is oh i remember this now okay so we have this light box right here it's acrylic board the idea is you take this acrylic board and you just stick it in there now you have this like box and then you can like write anything like for example oh that's cool what is this what kind of color is it it like lights up that's awesome look at that it's like some kind of kind of reflective marker that's cool and for four dollars and 18 cents this thing is cool you know and i saw the pictures and i was like no way eh? you can't get your marker to light up like that but sure enough it works and then of course you can erase your handwriting right yes yeah, so it's like some kind of white marker now the question is how do you get replacement marker uh once this dries out what else we got in the bag? Not looking. We have the fingerprint padlock. Ooh, nice, nice. So this is the padlock. I don't know, what do you call this? What do you call this part right here? Let's go ahead and measure it. Uh, so that's about 4.6 millimeter. So it is, it is really thin. You can definitely cut this. So don't use this to lock your shed or whatnot. To, to lock your shed, someone is gonna be able to cut this really easily. Got a metal body. And if you're gonna use something to lock your shed, this is what you would use. This is from Master and it's fingerprint as well. This is only $10.98. Comes with a charge cable. It's sadly not USB type C, it's micro USB. We have to long press it till it's blue. The light stays on. There we go. Now you take your fingerprint that you wanna register just like that. There we go. So, lock is registered. So now we lock it. There we go, it's locked. And if I take my thumb, this thumb, my left thumb, and try to open it, it's red, doesn't unlock. If I take my right thumb, 
Look at that. That's cool. <laughs> I didn't expect it to pop up like that, but yeah, look. Pops up just like that. And again, just to show that it doesn't work with any thumb. This is my left thumb. It's not taking it. But again, my right thumb. Bam. This is a cool lock. I dig this. So this is perfect for like a book bag. This thing is perfect for those. All right, what else we got? What else we got? Okay. We have the car purifier. This is, I think, an ionizer. There we go. So like everything else, here's the charge cable. Here is the air purifier. This thing here pulls out so you can clip it onto your sun visor. Here's the charge port. It's a charge cable, so it is USB type C. Hooray! Let's turn it on, see what happens. Okay, there's a blue light. The blue light is indicating that it is on. It is working. So yes, it is a ionizer, but it does indeed work. I could definitely smell the ionization. Now, these ionizer, they do produce a uh, very strong smell, so it might not be for everybody. So if you want something that smells like perfume or soap, this is not it. This is something that a lot of smokers usually use to get rid of their cigarette smells in their car because it works great for that. So if you're a heavy smoker, um, this might be something you want to look into getting into your car because it will help with that smell, that smoke smell inside your car. The only thing I'm not digging is that there is like some kind of smudge right here. Looks like the plastic melted. Let's go ahead, charge it up and uh, put it into one of our vehicles and see how well it works. All right, what else we got? We have a shock gum. Oh, here it is. Oh man, I love me some prank. Here's a shock gum, shocking gum. This is what got out of that packaging. Uh, back in the early aux, I used to get this from the Dollar Tree store. All right, let's see. Let's see if it's as strong as I remember. Oh, okay. So it it <laughs> it does give you a little zing, but I do feel like they they toned down the zap. I'm going to prank some people with this. All right, what else we got? What else we got? Ooh, something in the box here. It's in pieces. Hopefully it's in pieces and it's not broken into pieces. Just needs assembly, hopefully. Oh, I remember this. All right, so this is a trash can for your car. So you have a clip and then it clips onto like the back of your seat or something and then you can put your garbage and whatnot in here. You could probably pick this up cheaper from someplace else uh, but yeah not bad pretty cool. All right, this big box is staring at me. This is a food tray for your car. We are going to be taking a road trip to Colorado, so that is why I threw in a bunch of car accessories because we're going to test these cars accessory and see just how usable or how convenient they are. All right, so here is the plate in its bag. There we go, what's this? A non-stick pad? Yeah, non-stick pad. So you take it off. Okay, so that's a non-stick pad that you put on there. Like that, like that. Okay, also in the box you have this part right here and that's it. Alright, so adjust it upwards like that. So, and then you just fit this in your cup holder and you can open it so it expands. Just like that rip in you got a small little plate for you so you can eat and then also this one comes with a little phone holder and this iPhone has a case on it and as you can see it took a little effort to get it in there but 
the phone still fit. If you're not driving, you could use the phone holder to uh, put your phone so you can watch some YouTube. It's plastic, uh, but doesn't feel cheap. Feels pretty good. What else we got in the bag? We're not done. Not by a long shot. Got a couple more stuff. Okay. What is this? Got something here. Ah ha ha. Yep. Hopefully it still works. 10 of these for $8.48. What is it? Real simple. It is a travel size cologne or perfume holder. I've had my fair share of packing my cologne and then having them break on me when I travel. And so this eliminates that. You can just put your cologne in here or perfume and uh, just throw this in your travel bag. And it's plastic, so if it drops, you know, it's not gonna break. You're not gonna lose all of your perfume. And another thing you can use this for is, uh, you know, if you and other people in your household use the same cologne, instead of buying multiple bottles of that cologne, you can just use these and uh, distribute them to everyone who wears the same cologne as you. Let's run a little test here. So I got some Curve, nothing fancy, nothing too expensive. I got a green one. I think this will work perfectly. So the idea is you pull off this spray tab and then you got your spray bottle here. You just pump it like this, right? But as you can see, I got, I was able to transport the curve in this bottle without any issues. And then of course, when you want to use it, you just take it and you can spray it. And if you want to take it a step further, you could just get a label maker and just plop a label on these uh, on these little tubes. Oh, what is this? Oh, yes. Calling all iPhone users. All right, so this is a little handy keychain device. The idea is that you just take it, you plug it into your eye. Are you serious? Ah, uh, it's a case. Let me just remove this case here. All right, so you got your iPhone, you got this, you plug it in just like that. And then now you'll be able to use a headphone and charge your phone at the same time. Like this, it works. That into here, like so. Okay, so the sound is a little muffled, but I'm not sure if that's because of this wire or if it's because of that accessory. So I got my MacBook here and I am going to plug it into the MacBook, play the same exact song and uh, see what we get. It's not the dongle, it's the, um, it's the headphone itself. It sounds exactly the same on my MacBook. So. This dongle is a winner. For those of you who rock an Apple device and you want to use your wired headphone and also charge it at the same time, this is a really handy little dongle to carry around. All right, what else we got here? Ooh. Coming in at $4.68 is this glass cleaner. And when I say glass cleaner, I'm not talking about Windex. I'm talking about drinking glass. Ooh, these bristles are really stiff. I can see this working really well. And all of these products, I'm gonna give you an update after two weeks of using them. to let you know how they're performing. Welcome back everyone. It's been a week. I was going to go two weeks, but after a week I was like, you know what? I have a great idea on how well these items perform. So let me just go ahead and do the video now because I spent enough time with these devices. Um, you can see I have majority of the devices that I purchased from Tamu on my desk right now. If you've noticed that the sound quality is better, we did upgrade our mic while filming for this video. So uh, that's why the mic audio is a lot better. I'm hoping it's a lot better. Let's jump straight into it. Let's start with this 
perfume bottle, the travel perfume bottle. Uh, just a recap, these bottles were $8.48 for a 10 piece. And I really like these bottles. These bottles were awesome. There is one drawback and it's not with the bottles themselves. Actually, um, there is a problem I had with these bottles. Two of them uh, were dead on arrival. I didn't do anything about it because I was like, whatever, it's only two of them. But two of them were broken when I received it. The bottom right here, it was, uh, it fell out. And so any liquid you put inside the bottles would just fall right out of the bottle. So, but um, there is a problem with these bottles and certain perfumes or colognes. So I have about 10 uh, cologne bottles. And out of those 10 bottles, four of them do not work with the travel bottle and i'll tell you why first let's go with the adidas the adidas you have to pull off this spray cap but you see this has a flat top and so it doesn't fit and so you can't fill up the travel bottle the next we have is versace this one is at an angle and like the adidas it is bigger than the opening for the perfume travel bottle so again you can't use the travel bottle with this Versace bottle, CK1. This one is a slightly different issue. So when I pull off the spray cap, this is what you have. You have a very tiny nozzle. And so it fits, but it doesn't fit snug. And so when you try and spray it inside the bottle, it just comes right out. It doesn't go into the bottle. And a stem it has a stem that goes into the spray nozzle like that. So that's weird design and so you can't use it with the travel bottle as well and then last we have this euphoria men by calvin klein again uh this one is the same exact issue i think let's see it, it seems like it does fit but this stem is a lot smaller than the travel bottle refill at the bottom and so when you try and refill the bottle it cologne just gets everywhere but other than experiencing those issues with those four cologne bottles these things work great the other six colognes that i have which include like curve curve crush so on uh worked perfectly with these spray bottles so now that i was able to fill six of these travel containers with six of my favorite colognes i can walk around with all six when i travel um, you know out of state out of country wherever I can travel with all six of them and that right there Makes these bottles worth it now if you have an issue like with the CK1 and you're not able to fill these bottles there You're not out of luck. You do have to just get another travel bottle It's not the one with this refill at the bottom It's just a regular spray bottle and you have to unscrew the cap and then you have to manually fill it with a syringe So that's what you're gonna need for bottles like these but in terms of how well this works and whether i would recommend it yes and yes it works and i would recommend it the next on our list is this deodorizer and uh, basically it's a small portable ozone generator and so you put it in your car you turn it on and there's two settings there's a 15 minute and then there's a 30 minute and what that does is it will shut off the device after 15 minutes if you have it on the blue light and if you have it on the purple light it will shut off after 30 minutes uh this thing it works like if you smell it i could smell ozone being generated with this thing but it is not powerful enough to deodorize a car um so if you're thinking that you will get this to deodorize your car don't do it my 2015 mustang the previous owner was a heavy smoker and that's why i thought it was a perfect opportunity to test this out but the downfall of this device is the 30 minute time frame it's not nearly enough for it to work and eliminate all orders i kept running this thing for about uh five hours straight and that wasn't enough to make a dent in the smell of the vehicle if you were able to plug this in and just leave it on um, all the time then maybe after two weeks you might notice a uh, hint of the odor being eliminated but again the timer is this thing's biggest downfall um that and also i don't believe that you know this thing has enough power to eliminate uh the smell inside of a full-size vehicle i would call it a gimmick and i would say skip it but it isn't expensive it's only 13.58 and like i said 
I can smell ozone being generated from it. So it does work. You want to get it and uh, give it a whirl, then um, you can very well do that because it's only $13.58, which is the same that you could expect to pay for like a Febreze vet clip on. Next, we have the Oro B uh, brush head. And this is uh, this was four dollars and eighty eight cents for a 16 pack. This is a crazy great deal. My entire family have uh, automatic toothbrush is getting a little bit pricey to get um, heads to replace every three months. But at four dollars and eighty eight cents for a 16 piece, we can very well switch out these heads every three months now. And uh, I don't notice any difference between this and an official Oral B brush head they uh they look very similar they feel very similar they even operate very similar sound very similar i've had aftermarket brush heads before the one thing that happens with those aftermarket brush heads is that the bristle will fall off i have not noticed that with these heads the brushes are still intact they haven't fallen off this brush head right here has been used night and day for a week straight uh awesome value and i do recommend it twenty dollars for a four pack from oral b for these brush heads that is insane it's very expensive because of that that a lot of people just try to milk the most uh they can out of their oral b brush heads but like i said at 488 for a 16 piece you can go back to switching out your toothbrush every three months which is recommended by your dentist next up we have the 11 dollars 8 doorbell this doorbell comes with a ringer and i do have it attached to the battery bank so i can uh display it for you uh but yeah this doorbell is a video doorbell the quality is not great and it does use a generic app so you can view your uh camera on the doorbell um so i'm a little hesitant to recommend it just because it uses that generic app you don't want this in an area where you don't want outsiders to see because there's no guarantee that the video is encrypted and that nobody is watching your feed but if eleven dollars and eight cents is a a huge motivator for you and you must buy this then i would recommend that you not Put this in a sensitive area or an area where you don't want people to see yeah don't put it there it does get pretty loud so here's a sample of it to like put in the front of your door in your residential home i i would be a little hesitant to do that and then on top of that if you're going to put it in the front of your home for your residential address you might want to go with a better quality camera so you can actually see what's going on and you can actually use the video footage to determine who tried to break into your house who visited your house so on like that next we have the 11 in 1 precision screwdriver set this was 1698 and i cannot recommend this enough especially if you're someone who likes to diy and fix your own electronic devices this was super handy and i do have a clip of me repairing actually my xa10 the xlr ports on the xa10 were damaged um, something was crossed and so channel one and channel two were sharing the same channel and it was just causing a garble mess like that's literally what you would hear you would hear gargling sound um, when you plugged in your mic so i had to take that apart and uh, clean the contacts make sure uh, all the ribbon cables were connected uh, would i have been able to do it without this screwdriver yeah i would have but did this thing make my job easier it sure did and i paired this with the mat to put the xlr mount on this mat and dismantle it and so both of these things together awesome i love this thing just as much as a screwdriver awesome combination they have different configurations different sizes for these mats so do pay attention if you want the the huge one the big one like what i have this is again 18.89 by 12.5 inch real cheap affordable and very handy and useful it held all the screws for my xlr mount perfectly i didn't lose any screws the only complaint i have about this screwdriver is the torque there were certain screws on that xlr mount that were a little bit hard 
And so this struggled a little bit, just a little bit. It was able to eventually get the screws out, but it did struggle just a little. Um, and the screws weren't overly tight, right? This thing doesn't have that much power. And that's a good thing too. You don't want this to strip screws that like you find in your iPhone or any, you know, uh, sensitive electronic like that. But the build quality, excellent. This is an aluminum body, uh, USB-C for charging. It has a dedicated light. And this does come in different configurations. So you can get it in a 11 piece or you can get into a 24 piece. They have different configurations for this screwdriver. So definitely check this out. Another product that I really liked was this mini portable disinfectant device. This thing is awesome. Um, I'm the type of person that always, always gets sick when I go into a hotel room. And so to have this with me so I can disinfect my hotel room it's just awesome and the light in the front it is a blue light um well i guess you would call it a black light it does work as a black light like it's highly reflective just like a black light you can see where the spray mist goes you can see the uh, surface and the contamination on that surface like oily prints and stuff like that so that light really does help you see where you're spraying and how much is coming out of this bottle um, this thing again is rechargeable USB-C one button controls the light and controls the mist and the mist is excellent It comes out just like a Lysol spray bottle. I can't say enough good things about this device like $12.98 this thing is cool and I would highly recommend it to um, anyone who wants to have a portable sanitation device in their car in their travel bag wherever right and if you're wondering the solution in this bottle is a sanitizer solution that I pick up from Sam's uh, you have to mix in water and so that's what I did and that's what's in here um, the only problem with this uh, disinfectant spray bottle is that if you put it down on its left side like this it will leak a little bit, but I found that if you put it down on the right side like this, it won't leak. It's odd, uh, but it makes sense because this is like, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a bottle screwed in. And so I did, when it started leaking, I did screw it in just a little bit tighter, but I don't want to go too tight because if you do try to tighten this too tight, it will crack and break. So um, if it's leaking, then just flip it on its right side. I've noticed that it doesn't leak with, when it's on its right side, only on its left side. But other than that, perfect device, highly recommended. Go pick it up now if you're a germaphobe. This thing works great. Quick disclaimer, this thing will only work as well as a solution you put in it. So if you just put pure water, you're not going to be disinfecting anything. Next, we have these Bluetooth trackers and I picked up two of these. I have a green one and I have this one. These things are really cheap. It's a dollar and 98 cents. The title that they give this device is pretty accurate. They call it anti-loss tracking device, not a location tracker. It doesn't have a GPS. It doesn't borrow the GPS location on your phone. Nothing like that. Old school uh, Bluetooth tracker that just makes a sound if you lost your keys. That's what this is. So if you're in the area, you're still connected to it. Let's say it's under the couch. If you go in the app, you can cause this thing to start ringing. And so you can find your keys that are underneath the couch easily. The only problem is that you can accidentally turn this off if you long hold. And uh, if you turn it off, then obviously you won't be able to make it ring from the app. But another cool thing with these Bluetooth trackers is that if you double click this, then your phone will start ringing or your iPad, whatever you have it connected to will start ringing so you can reverse track your uh, smart device. So I thought that was real cool. But like I said, at $1.98, this is a cool little device to get, you know, forgetful people who always lose their keys inside their house. This would be perfect. Just be sure to not allow location tracking in the app. The app is called iSearching. There's no need for iSearching to have Bluetooth location enabled. You can disable all of that. Next, we have this cockroach. Now, this was a fascinating little toy, and it is cheap, $3.78. Um, I bought this originally as a gag. However, the gag was on me because this thing needs direct sunlight. And I mean direct sunlight in order for it to function. If you don't have direct sunlight, then it's not going to work. So like I have this bright light. What is it? A GVM light. It's super bright and it's on, but the roach is not going to do anything because it needs direct sunlight. Even if I open the window, 
if the sunlight is not direct, it's not going to come on. The sunlight has to literally be shining onto this uh, solar panel right here in order for this to start jumping around. But when it does start jumping around, it is pretty cool. Um, it's not going to really fool anybody because it doesn't look like a real roach um, under sunlight. It kind of looks like a like a funky dancing toy. If you have kids that are, you know, very curious, then this will intrigue them. My son was curious to know why it worked in the sunlight and why it doesn't. So it does pique their interest. So as a gag toy, mm, nah. But as an educational toy, yeah, definitely. Next, we have the bubble gun. This was a pretty cool toy. We used it outside and it does work really well. Um, when you take it apart, it's actually really simple. This is what you dip in the bubbles. And then this fan right here that's what will blow the bubbles um but there is a slight design flaw with this and that's the trigger right here so as you can see the trigger is pressed in it's stuck in that position and so when my kids try to use it they don't have the finger strength to push that trigger down and so they're unable to use this gun because of that i'm sure i can just open this gun and fix this trigger right here so it works for them but that is something to keep in mind. If this trigger does break, you as the adult will still be able to use the gun, but your kids uh, will need a lot of finger strength to push this trigger if it breaks on them. But in terms of uh, coolness, I, I think this, this toy is really cool. It does blow a lot of bubbles. Um, it takes four double A's, but that trigger, that trigger is an issue, but the gun still works though, as you can see. But at $6.98, not a bad toy. Pretty cool. Next, we have the Keybuckle 2-in-1 audio headphone for iPhones. So this device does work. It works well. You're able to charge your phone at the same time and use a headphone, a wired headphone. So if you're still stuck in the past and you love your wired headphones, this is definitely a plus for you. Pick this up. It's dirt cheap. $2.48. It comes with this keychain so you can walk around with it on your keys. And, and yeah, I honestly have nothing bad to say about this. It, it works. Next, we have this bracelet at $1.43. It is cheap. I wore this uh, since the day I got it. And so after wearing it for four days straight, night and day, it did eventually break right here. As you can see, it's, um, it's simply glued to this metal clasp right here so it is an easy fix the glue did give away and it did break on me uh, but like i said i can fix it i do like this thing it does look pretty cool on my wrist and at a dollar and 43 cents i don't think i wasted my money because like i said i can easily fix this but if you're wondering how cheaply made it is it is cheaply made but um if you're into this kind of stuff then uh yeah i i would recommend it to you it's only a dollar and 43 cents next we have this light board i think they called it this thing is awesome and it was only four dollars and 18 cents i love this thing uh but yeah it comes with this reflective grayish white marker and so when you plug it in the light will come on and it will light up whatever you draw on the board. And I thought that was really cool. Like the marker works really well with this board. I'm not sure what you're supposed to do if this marker goes dead. Because this marker is definitely what makes your drawings or whatnot light up like that. Definitely a cool gift to buy people. Uh, highly recommend it. And like I said, $4.18. It's one of the only products that I have that I really can't find anything negative about it. The only negative thing I can say about this, the sticker that was on this board was very hard to pull apart. That's the only complaint I have. Other than that, I love this product, works well. Next item we have is this multi-function cleaner kit. Um, I've used this a couple of times already and I gotta say it is worth every penny. It is $3.08 and it's definitely worth that. Uh, again, this thing comes with everything you would need to clean your uh, camera, tech products, earphones. It even comes with a little spray bottle that you can just spray on your phone like that. And then you just wipe it. Really cool and handy little product. Next, we have the smart fingerprint padlock. This thing is awesome. I use it to lock my trunk that I store all of my video equipment. Sometimes it'll take like five tries before it unlocks. 
but it's not a big deal because the price that you pay ten dollars and ninety eight cents it's well worth that little hassle um but like showing you now like you're not oh there we go there we go but despite that little hiccup uh, i still love this lock it's not something that you're going to use to lock your shed door or your gate for your backyard you know you're not going to use this for any type of security purposes because this thing right here is really thin and can easily be cut so you're going to want to keep this to like locking a book bag or your luggage if you think of it as a luggage lock you will be satisfied with it and you know exactly what to expect and like i said i like this lock a lot in terms of power it's rechargeable it's also rated to be um waterproof i haven't tested that and i don't think i am going to test it let me just make something clear if you use this as a luggage lock if tsa needs to get in your bag and you have this lock they will break it it's not a tsa approved lock there's nothing for them to unlock it if they need to get into your bag so keep that in mind if you're going to purchase this lock your luggage in the event you take a flight somewhere next we have the electric shock joke chewing gum this is an old school item that I grew up playing with. This was only $2.88. The kids had a blast with it. It still works. It's somewhere in this house. We were just playing with it yesterday, but I don't know where it is now. Do keep in mind that it does give off a little bit of electricity. You don't want to prank an elderly person or someone who's very sensitive to electrical charges. No, no, don't do that. The next item is the multifunctional mini outdoor knife. I put this on my uh, wife's car keys and told her how to use it in the event she needs it. It's not something that you're going to use every day, but it is something that you're going to be happy you have it in the event you need it. Because with this knife, you know, it's best to not need it but have it than to need it but not have it. And so this is a perfect little knife to throw on your keychains or your backpack in the box they give you a lanyard so you can put it around your neck i wouldn't do that uh, but that's what it was designed for so you can wear it around your neck and then you just have a knife at, on you at all times but three dollars and 14 cents it's affordable and it is a product that i would recommend next we have the tr car trash can it's four dollars and 38 cents um i do feel like it is overpriced for what you get i honestly can probably find this in dollar tree for a dollar uh there's nothing special about it it's it's very cheap plastic and um yeah i don't think it's worth four dollars and 38 cents and then also on top of that uh depending on what vehicle you have you may be able to use it you may not but this is not a product that i would recommend in terms of receiving exactly what i ordered yeah i did i i got exactly what i ordered just messing around with the product and examining the build quality i don't think it's worth four dollars and 38 cents price tag next we have the uh virtual electronic pet uh this product is lost somewhere in this house but the kids were playing with it for a couple days straight like the first three days after getting it um and they love it but uh, unfortunately like i said one of them lost it in this house somewhere next we have the beard shave apron uh this apron was pretty cool it works exactly as advertised the only problem that i found was that the suction cups that come with it they are on the weaker end and so during using the bib suction cups gave out and the bib fell and so a little bit here got onto my sink not a lot most of it was contained in the bib for what a dollar and 79 cents works awesome and i would recommend it to anyone who's tired of shaving their beard and then cleaning the sink afterwards it does eliminate the need to clean your sink after shaving just take this bit outside after you're finished and then brush off the hair and you're done. Next, we have the car ceiling cargo net. I had big plans for this thing. After getting it, I tried to install it in the Explorer and it was a little bit difficult. So do keep in mind that it does vary on your vehicle that you're going to use this net for. So you do need some hooks or a handlebar to... Uh, use this net if you don't have hooks or handlebar then you will not be able to use this net the explorer has two hooks in the middle and then um, it has one handlebar in the front passenger but it doesn't have a handlebar for the front driver and so what i had to do is i had to get creative the head visor mounts i had to use that part to keep the cargo net 
uh, mounted to the ceiling and uh, it works fine. I actually love it. It's perfect for what I wanted to use it for. I just wanted a compartment at the top to hold all of our snacks. So light snacks like chips, cookies, things like that. And uh, I tested it with uh, a couple of snacks that I had lying around the house and this thing held up perfectly fine. I kept all the snacks in that cargo net for a week now and it's still holding strong. It's still holding those snacks perfectly fine. So this is definitely something that I would highly recommend to anybody who uh, takes a lot of road trips. This will come in handy with holding light items like snacks, pillows, comforters, and things like that. Um, and at $7.58, it's a steal. Next, we have the Cup Scrubber Glass Cleaner. Oh my god, this thing is a game changer. Uh, especially if you have a glass and you use it once and you just want to quickly wash it out. This thing is awesome. You just put a little soap, a little water, and you put the cup over it and you twirl it around to clean it out. My only problem with this scrubber is that two of the suction cups on it are defective. They don't stick at all. Often when I'm turning the glass to scrub it, the whole scrubber is turning as well, uh, but it hasn't hindered you know, uh, my ability to use it, I'm still using it even if um, the suction cups are not holding well to the sink. So awesome product, $4.68. It's probably gonna be the best $4.68 you ever spend. Um, it also makes it very easy for the kids to wash their own cups. I love this way more than a bottle scrubber. Um, actually, if you have a baby and you're using bottles, this thing is a must. I would recommend you getting this. This would make washing baby bottles so much easier. Please do yourself a favor and get this thing if you're struggling with, um, you know, washing bottles and washing cups and using those traditional bottle washers to wash cups and bottles. Get this instead. You'll thank me later. Next, we have the car holder tray. <laughs> It really depends on 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 the individual, right? So like for me, like when I install this, uh, it worked great and I could see myself using this tray. Like I already start using it even though we haven't taken our road trip yet. I put it in the uh, Ford Explorer on the same day that I installed the cargo net. And um, I've used the vehicle three times now and all three times I've used this tray. I've put my phone on this tray. I don't put it in the cup holder or you know, there's like a front shelf I have in the Ford Explorer. I didn't put it there. I put it on the tray and it's just easy reach to grab the phone and to put it back down. And so I can't wait to test this out with an actual like, you know, meal maybe that I get from McDonald's on our road trip and use this tray and it'll make my job easier with keeping focus on the road. I can have my McDonald's, my chips, my snack and I don't have to find a place to store those snacks and food so I can drive and eat at the same time. I see the use in it but my wife doesn't. She criticized it from day one and she still criticizes it and she can't wait for me to take it out of her car because it explores her car. If I do take it out of her car after our road trip I'm putting it straight into the Mustang. I like this tray and I think it's worth the $10.88. Anyway that does it for this video. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Like I said if you're interested in more to move videos and you haven't checked out my previous two videos please check those out my name is z and as always hasta luego muchachos catch you in the next one